next up at eight new court documents just into our newsroom tonight outline some of the evidence that motivated police to reclassify the case of a missing Flagstaff woman into a homicide investigation. They say her husband who reported her missing is the prime suspect and now under arrest for aggravated assault. Kelly Patachowski hasn't been seen since Sunday and police say they are searching for her remains tonight. True crime correspondent Brianna Whitney is live in flag tonight. Brianna, what did you find out? So I talked to Kelly's sister earlier today. She said they are all so worried about her. They're asking everybody to keep your eyes and ears open as they continue to search for her. They also told me the last time they talked to Kelly was on Wednesday, which is leading to even more of their concern. But Kelly's husband, Daniel Patakowski, was arrested late last night on aggravated assault charges. And now from these new court documents, we're learning exactly what evidence led to those charges. So I wanna take you inside what we've recently learned. According to those court documents on June 3rd, 30th, neighbors heard who they believe was Kelly screaming in pain and went to their window to see her husband, Daniel Patakowski, on top of Kelly, then later saw her lying on her stomach, not moving. Court documents show they later saw Daniel hosing down the area of the grass where she was. In police detective search of their house, they found blood on the patio that included a bloody footprint and blood by the garage. Detectives also noted Daniel had what appeared to be recent injuries on his hands and his knees. Daniel told police that he and Kelly had ridden their bikes together at Schultz Creek Trail. That's where we're standing here tonight. Then later, he said Kelly went for a run and swim before she disappeared. According to the court documents, when police confronted Daniel and told him his story wasn't matching up and that Kelly's disappearance seemed suspicious, he asked for a lawyer. Flagstaff police talked about earlier today what they believe happened next. However, based on the current evidence, information is believed Kelly may be a victim of a homicide. And the number one priority is to locate Kelly. Yes, as of right now, we are still very widespread in our search uh, and efforts to locate Kelly. The search efforts ongoing tonight. Daniel Patakowski was arrested for aggravated assault. He's now sitting in the Coconino County Jail on a $500,000 bond. Now, Kelly's car was found at the Campbell Mesa Trailhead. That's where Daniel was seen on surveillance footage and Kelly's white Mazda CX-5 was, but there were no sightings of Kelly. According to those court documents, her wallet was found inside the car, but nothing else suspicious was found inside the car. In talking to Kelly's sister today, she said that police and search crews have scoured that area near the Campbell Mesa trailhead for any signs of Kelly or her remains, but they do not believe she is anywhere around there. Of course, that complicates everything. They can rule that area out, but there are still so many more wooded areas that she could be in. So they are asking everybody for their help as they continue to search for Kelly or her remains. If they find her remains, then they would add charges to Daniel Patakowski, who could be looking at murder charges. Yeah. as well. Live what in Flagstaff tonight, Brianna Whitney for Arizona's family. What a terrible case. Brianna, did he say anything to police that raised any red flags? Yeah, these court documents were honestly so hard to go through. They answer a lot of questions. But one thing that was interesting was the detective noted that during kind of the conversations they were having with Daniel before he asked for a lawyer, he re referred to Kelly as this. She was a beautiful woman. And in the court documents, that detective said he used past tense to describe her. And that was something that stuck out to them. Oh, for sure.